Tesla Semi is seen on the San Francisco Bridge. The Tesla Semi is so beautiful, quiet and fast. Can't wait to see these on the road, writes Gail Alfar from Austin on his Twitter image sharing this brief 9 second video of Tesla Semi driving on the San Francisco's famous bridge. Welcome back friends, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. So this is the first time we see this. Despite the fog, we see the uh, Tesla Semi moving quietly, quickly and kind of odorless on San Francisco Bridge. You will notice that the design of the Tesla Semi has not changed a bit and that it may be the same model seen a few months earlier in the same street of San Francisco. Hope we will soon see this in many other streets. You know, in the past couple of days, I reported that Tesla is building and has started production of Tesla Semi for PepsiCo. I believe about 15 of them, if not mistaken, and we have seen some in Tesla's Nevada factory. The news these days is about Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Austin that is about to start, but those are about the Model Y and the Cybertruck. But there is also the Giga Factory in Nevada, and that is for the Tesla Semi and of course the batteries. It is very reassuring for this insane program, which will allow the Californian manufacturer Tesla to open up a new market uh, uh, to supply Tesla Semi vehicles to PepsiCo and other companies. And uh, we had reason to doubt Tesla's ability to produce uh, these famous semi-trucks, uh, class 8 electric semi-trucks. Investors first put insane pressure on Elon Musk and the executive board to focus on the Tesla Model 3, the Tesla Model Y and the Tesla Cybertruck. But it's not knowing the plan properly yet. The, the departure of Jerome Guyen, briefly appointed president of the Tesla Trucks division before leaving the company could have been seen as a bad signal. But after all, he was already gone before coming back so you never know. Either way, it's a good signal to see the Tesla Semi program rolling, right? And uh, it's good that now we see this um, uh, short video that Tesla Semi is driving on San Francisco Bridge and it is very beautiful, quiet and fast. Um, so let's hope that we see that in uh, other cities in the United States, Canada and in Europe or elsewhere. This is Armin Haryan Franks from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla announcements announcements and breaking news. Ring the bell, give us thumbs up, like this video if you found it interesting and helpful and share in social media please. I would greatly appreciate and I will have all the references in the description of this video. God bless you everyone. Let's move on to our next Tesla story now. Breaking news everyone this morning. Tesla will be delivering 15 pre-production Tesla semis to Pepsi for testing by end of January at Pepsi's Modesto, California Frito-Lay facility. The Tesla semis were built in Giga Nevada and will use new 4680 battery cells. Pepsi is installing several mega chargers at the facility. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. So last November, if you remember, PepsiCo CEO Raymond LaGuarta surprised the electric vehicle community when he noted during an appearance on CNBC that his company PepsiCo was looking forward to the first deliveries of the Tesla Semi in quarter 4 2021. The statement was quite shocking since even Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been very conservative about the release date of Tesla Semi the class 8 all-electric truck. But it looks like now Tesla is giving Semi more love. Sightings of what appeared to be freshly built Tesla Semis were reported near Gigafactory in Nevada in late 2021. And I shared them yesterday. I reported that yesterday if you've seen my yesterday's report. Though by the end of the year, it seemed that PepsiCo would have to wait a bit longer before it could take delivery of its first electric trucks. This wait might not be very long. However, as recent reports from the electric vehicle community have suggested that PepsiCo may end up taking delivery of its first 15 Tesla semis as early as this month, reports Simon Alvarez at Tesla Radio. Simon says to prepare for the Tesla semis arrival, the EV maker Tesla has reportedly started installing several mega chargers at PepsiCo's Modesta, California facility.
image shared with EV publication Drive Tesla indicated that the semis mega chargers are connected to a mega pack battery. The power output of the mega chargers was reported to be a whooping 1.5 megawatt as well, which should allow the Tesla semi to charge its massive battery pack fairly quickly. Interestingly enough, previous estimates suggested that the semi's mega chargers would have peak rates of about 1 megawatt. Now we're talking about 1.5 megawatt, which probably give more speed to Tesla semi charging. Maybe while we're waiting in this time, Tesla has sped up or improved some things with Tesla semi's uh, specs. While Tesla has been mostly silent about the progress of the semi, the development of the all electric class eight long hauler has been going full throttle behind the scene. New semi prototypes showing evident uh, updates from the alpha unit produced years ago were spotted across the country over the year, reports Simon Alvaridi at Tesla Radi and says Tesla also set up a facility near Giga Nevada to produce the vehicle in limited quantities, considering that clients such as PepsiCo are only expecting a few semis for now, Tesla's Nevada site would likely be up for the job. Perhaps the most existing factor, actually ex exciting factor about the semis reported deliveries this month, however, would be the vehicle's batteries, not semi, uh, Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi, and I agree with him. 4680 batteries in Tesla semi, that's what we probably need. Expectations are high that the semi would be using Tesla's new 4680 battery cells, which were unveiled on battery day. Tesla has been showing some encouraging signs with the 4680 ramp with a model Y test body in Giga Texas being spotted recently with what appeared to be a space for structural battery pack. If Tesla could launch the semi in limited numbers with 4680 battery cells this year, then it could be yet another milestone for the company and its battery production aspiration. We know that Tesla is producing uh, the 4680 uh, batteries at its Cato Road facility near Fremont and now putting them into actual pre-production vehicles would be great. So it might, uh, might the delay be due to PepsiCo not readying its on-site charging in time because remember we were expecting these 15 trucks at the end of 2021 but now before that of course you should see on-site charging at PepsiCo. So maybe they're building it right now that's why and Tesla is building the new semis. So what do you think, friends? Either way, this first customer of Tesla for commercial haulage will go uh, down in history as a key event, and uh, notes one commentator at Tesla Rally. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking announcements. Join our community. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. That would be great help, guys. And I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And have a wonderful day. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.